Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you the iMac Late 2009. Now this particular iMac was the first of its design when it was introduced on October 20th, 2009, and has the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which we still have on the iMacs till this very day. This particular iMac is the baseline configuration. Inside it has an Intel Core 2 Duo processor running at 3.06 GHz. 4GB of DDR3 RAM, although 16GB is the max that this machine can take. For graphics, we have an NVIDIA GeForce 9400M with 256MB of shared memory, in addition to a 500GB hard drive and the 21.5-inch 1080p display. So let's go ahead and take a look around. Starting on the top of the machine, we will find our microphone at the very top. And on the front of the display, in the center, we will find our, I believe, 480p EyeSight camera. Working our way down the right-hand side of the machine, we will find our super drive, in addition to an SD card slot. On the left-hand side of the machine, you will find a whole lot of nothing. On the top of the back of the machine, we will find an air vent, in addition to the Apple logo, which is used to connect to wireless devices, since it's plastic, it allows those type of things to get through the machine. Moving our way down below the stand here, we will find another air vent in addition to our power port and a Kensington lock port. On the bottom of the machine on the back on the left hand side or the right hand side if you're reaching your hand around to get to a port, we have our ports. From left to right we have our headphone jack or audio out. We have audio in four USB 2.0 ports, FireWire 800, a mini display out, and Ethernet. In the opposite corner, we will find our power button. On the bottom of the machine, we will find more ventilation. In the center, we will find a door to access our four DDR3 RAM slots. And on either end, we will also find our speakers so that we get our stereo sound. And of course, we can't forget back on the front, the 21.5 inch 1080p display. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on. I don't believe I mentioned this earlier, but this machine is running 10.12.1 uh, Mac OS Sierra. And it's running perfectly fine on this machine actually, for how old it is. Now one thing you may or may not notice right away is that the display has a little bit of a color problem. And actually a lot of these iMacs had that issue. Um, Apple recognized it and I believe recalled some of them. But this one I actually uh, received from my university. So they probably just left it in use anyway. Uh, just regarding the fact that the screen is kind of a yellowish uh, color down here. Maybe you can or can't see that, but once you're using the machine, it's not really that noticeable. Now this machine is currently being used on my desk as a secondary uh, computer uh, with my other iMac mid-2014, uh, and uh, if anybody wants to come up and sit with me, my friends, and do homework, they can use this machine to do so. And um, they use it a lot with um, uh, the client here to access the school's servers to run programs that uh, are really expensive, so uh, we use that. Anyway, that's a little story about what this machine is currently being used for, uh, for myself. So it sits right next to my other one here on the desk, although uh, you can't really see it because I have the camera zoomed in right on the screen here. So first of all, let's go right ahead and check out about this Mac as we get rid of batteries. So as you can see, we're running 10, 12, 1. Apparently there's a build number there. This is the late 2009, as previously mentioned, and here's the rest of the specs. There's a display. Storage, which is displayed differently here in uh, Mac OS Sierra. Instead of all the different colors, you have to go to manage to find that stuff. But currently on the 500 gigabyte hard drive, this is how much space is being used with the applications and other things that I currently have installed on this machine. 
Here's the memory. You can see from the factory it comes pre-installed with two two gigabyte uh, sticks. And there are two available ones for you to add whatever you'd like. Support and service. So there is about this Mac. And we'll run our way down the list here of applications. Of course, Finder just finds your files, just like the Windows Explorer is on Windows. Here we have our Launchpad, which has our applications. This is the more modern way of looking at your applications. However, I still like the older versions where they actually had the application folder down here. That's what I'm most used to. <laughs> so I just put the applications folder down here anyway. But here you can get an idea of some of the applications that are used on this machine um, and they all get used so um, we will take a look at some of them here uh, as well of course internet are all up to date safari is the latest version so is firefox and chrome there's no problems with any of those youtube runs just fine on this machine there hasn't been any issues with that um, so yeah everything is up to date uh, for internet based things. Nothing's really slow or laggy. Of course we have iTunes, that's up to date. And here we have Word. This is Office 2016 for Mac. So you'll see how quickly it loads on this machine. Of course it takes quite a while. It has a spinning hard drive. I not too long ago replaced my hard drive in my early 2011 MacBook Pro, which is my main computer with a SSD and it is amazing how much faster that is because I've never actually had a machine with an SSD before. But there is a Word document and you can go ahead and use it uh, as you <laughs> normally would. So there's Word. Let's go ahead and take a look at Excel while we're at it since these are the two most commonly used applications. So here is Excel. And that works just fine as well. For the people that have used it, I haven't seen it hiccup on anything, so that's working really well. Of course, uh, VMware Horizon Client is a way to connect to our school's servers and um, use their um, virtual machines, I guess you could call it. I don't really know, but it connects and you can get the Windows desktop and run um, AutoCAD and certain other applications. Um, of course here we have a slew of others as we have previously looked at. Latest version of iMovie, GarageBand, whatever you'd like. Of course Office 2008 still works on this machine just fine if you like the older version. Same goes for Office 2011 as well. Um, I get a lot of people that ask about Minecraft, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. It takes a little bit to load. I just took um, one of my own worlds from my uh, laptop and put it on this machine, so we'll just load it from that and take a look around at how that works. And we'll make it full screen while we're at it. This is just a world. I only use one world and just mess around with it. Just something fun. So you can see how it kind of loads stuff. Um, I don't really know what settings it's at on this machine as I've never really played it on here before. I just set this up so it would uh, have something to load. But um, let's go ahead and I'll show you whatever settings it has for default. So there's a default video settings for whatever that's worth. Um, all the other stuff is default as well. Um, but that's how it loads stuff. Which seems to be pretty decent. I mean, I haven't really found a machine that loads stuff um, any faster anyway walk somewhere that there hasn't really had a lot loaded. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, there's just a uh, 
quick example of it working. It works. We'll make it load stuff quick here. You see sometimes it glitches out like that. I don't know if that's just this world uh, or the game itself. But anyway, that's how this works. So it does work. I'm trying to think of anything else that'd be interesting to show on this machine that may have a little bit of a struggle working, but everything that uh, we use this machine for, it works just fine. So pretty much in conclusion, anything you want to throw out this machine as a modern day application runs just fine. And if somebody would ask me if this would be a model that, you know, if they can't really afford a brand new one, then yeah, this is a very nice model to have. <clears throat> and it's really, compared to my uh, mid-2014 one, which uh, you may find a unboxing video of somewhere on my channel, um, you know, that's the lowest end iMac that they made. And uh, there's not really much of a speed difference, but if you look at Geekbench, there is. So anyway, again, in conclusion, this machine runs everything that a modern machine needs to run and can run. It runs really fast and well. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video of the late 2009 iMac. Let's go ahead and shut it down. takes a little bit to shut down. You probably can't really see it, but the screen is still uh, on. It's just black. And there it goes. So once again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.